Hey guys, this is Type Horse Reacts, and I'm back to react to Death Battle. Hey, Hachi Mishima versus Geese Howard. Tekken versus King of Fighters. <sighs> um, I don't really have anything I can say to this. Like, I don't care about either of these people. I don't care about either franchise. It's just, uh, I, I don't really know. Just, I'm only rooting for Heihachi simply because he looks cooler. <laughs> I don't think I've had that in a reaction video. Like, um, like with other reaction videos, like at least, I mean, at least with other Death Battle reactions, there's been at least one character, I think, where I could actually, you know, I actually knew who they were and I could root for them. Um, but, yeah, I don't think I've ever, this is the first time I've come across a death battle where I have no personal attachment to either character. So, like, at least at all. Like, usually, like, um, yeah, usually, like, a death battle's in the past, it's usually been with franchises I either have a passing knowledge of or, or at least, you know, you know, prior, or at least, you know, prior to learning about them in death battle. This is the first death battle I've done a reaction to where I don't know basic I don't know anything about these two franchises other than what death battle has told me about them. <laughs> so, yeah, and the stuff they appeared in, but yeah. Well, like I said, I'm only rooting for Heihachi because he looks cooler. <laughs> He's like it's I don't know why. He gives off an Otto von Bismarck vibe. Like <laughs> I don't know what it is, but if you don't know who that is, look him up. Like, it's a good hist- Like, like I- Like, um, extra credits, they may be horrible pieces of sh now, but the- But extra credits did a really good, um, extra history, um, series on, um, Otto von Bismarck. Like, it's definitely worth your time. Go watch it. But, yeah, let's just jump right in before I ramble on any further. So, yeah, we'll start the video in three, two, one, and boom. The- Okay, I think I can sync up just because I'm like looking at screen like like most most of the time when I sync up with videos I just you know look at the screen you know and like I see the reflection in the in my glasses <laughs> see these are useful for something so Yeah, all right All right, blah blah blah. Let's just get this over with get this ad over with no one cares um yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay, the ad's almost over. Please, I just want to learn more about these two characters. <laughs> so I can actually come up with a proper, you know, I can actually say something proper to back up my claim, I guess, for who I think is going to win. Heihachi Mishima, billionaire megalomaniac behind the king of the Iron Fist. And Geese Howard, karate kingpin behind the king of fighters. These two ruthless businessmen are as talented at martial arts as they are terrible at being dead. But whose mm. fury will prove the most fatal? He's wins and I'm boosting. And it's our job to analyze the it's our weapons, armor, armor, and skills, skills to find out who would win a death, death battle. battle. <laughs> that, that's just tradition at this point, even though I can sync up through other means. <laughs> field armies massive enough to conduct world wars. Hmm. Martial arts master Heihachi Mishima. His goal? World domination. This dude treats male pattern baldness like an extreme sport. He taught mm. his super intelligent bear. Citizenship to rat face. Was once accidentally turned into a bear. Okay. Mm. He's. Well, he sure is something, all right. The mm. words you're looking for here are ruthless and bastard whiz. Heihachi didn't like how his dad, Jinpachi, who looks like the Charizard hmm. to his Charmeleon, was oh. in the family business. So he locked him in a basement to die and get possessed by a demon. Oh. He built the Mishima Fun. into the largest military developer in the world. And believe it or not, he's also a family man with a wife and child. Sucks he had to kill his new baby mama with his bare hands after she got possessed by a demon too. A hmm. different demon. This was the devil gene. And it would prove to be Heihachi's greatest adversary for the rest of his life. Fearing his son Kazuya had inherited this gene and its terrifying demonic power, he did what any loving, supportive father would do. Toss his bitch ass off a cliff! If he climbed back up, it meant he was a devil. If he didn't, that meant he was A-OK. -okay. Well. Except for being dead. Okay. Which is basically what medieval peasants did to witches. The Mishima mm. are old-fashioned. Yeah. Truly alone, without love or family holding him back, Heihachi could focus on one thing: power. And not 
just the kind hmm. that lets you finance a satellite in order to kick family members you don't like out of it, but the punchy, kicky kind, too. Hmm. Ihachi is a practitioner of Ishima-style fighting karate, based on real-life Goju Ryu, also known as hard, soft style. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think a, another, like, um think that put him in that that made me want to root for Heihashi um it's just some he and Geese apparently have the same fighting style but Heihachi is just older and that means more experienced so yeah just depends on if Geese has the power to back it up hmm. His key can even enhance his physicality to frankly absurd levels. Hmm. At the time, he cut a bullet in his mouth. I'd say that's crazy, but he did the same thing to a tomahawk before shattering it with his teeth. <laughs> How much of that blade did he swallow? Yikes. He must have gave his beehole braces. Or the time he got hmm. dogpiled by a bunch of Russian androids called Jacks, which all self-destructed, annihilating the temple he was in. Yeah, oh. Up a bit later, infuriated, I'm sure, by the world's audacity to declare him dead from such a paltry wound. <laughs> Other Jack bottles were strong enough to destroy a six mile wide apocalyptic asteroid and survive hmm. being blasted by a satellite laser. By taking a look at the size of the blast compared to the height of the clouds, this laser was packed around 1.6 megatons of TNT. Hmm. And can tear through the newest Jack models like that hatchet must have torn through his boomstick. Can't stop thinking about it, Wiz. Either hmm. end that's coming out of, it's not gonna be good. Ugh. After decades of dominance, Heihachi finally hosted the King of Iron Fist tournaments. And hmm. who should show up to the fight but his son Kazuya for the salty run back. All grown up and definitely not dead by Cliff. Oh, ah. man, what I wouldn't give to beat the shit out of my dad and toss his ass off a cliff. Probably what Elon Musk's son will do after he finds out what his dad named him. Oh. Uh, that. Man, he and Heihachi are kind of similar. He launches rockets, he's super rich and weird, and I don't even want to think about Heihachi with a Twitter account. Well, hmm. except for the whole martial arts thing. Musk is just some pasty lazy. I did uh, Taekwondo, I did the uh, Karate, uh, Kakushin Kai. Oh man, he's been Heihachi all along! And that means his son is Kazuya. Someone keep their eye on him in case he throws him off a cliff. But hey, Musk, hmm. if you ever host a King of Iron Tesla tournament, give me a go. His okay. Defeat, Survived Akuma's raging demon somehow? Well, I guess Taki versus Street Fighter. That did happen at some point, so. Hmm. Oh. Come up with some more original yeah. jokes, Boomstick. No cyborg enhancements, no devil gene, no whatever Yoshimitsu is. Heihachi fought his mm. literal demons with nothing more than his stubborn, egomaniacal refusal to give up until he could stand no longer. Those who live by the volcano die by the volcano. Mm. Well, at least until he magically comes back in the next game. In of course. He'll be determined, as always, to rule the world with a Tekken. Don't you mean Iron Fist? Oh, God damn it, Boomstick. Hmm. He sounds like old man Joe Star from JoJo Part 3. Southtown, USA. Should you ever find yourself there on vacation, you can rest easy knowing the Howard Connection Protection Agency will keep you safe from the clutches of the local mafia. 
Hmm. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Wiz, that was all sounding pretty badass until you said his name was Geese. What kind of dork is named after a waterfowl? The only worst name I could think of would be Swan. His absentee hmm. dad may be an Austrian terrorist, but the only thing he's blowing up is his son's future. After he's Aus like, succumbed he's Austrian? Dang it, if only that was Heihachi. <laughs> that would have made the Autobahn Bismarck thing even better. Well, then again, Bismarck was Prussian. Austria. Prussia and Austria! They are fighting! Okay. Okay. Sometimes it appears some people's nightmares. Okay. Die forever. With Hakyoku Seiken, geese can absorb life energy or chi from the earth itself and mold powerful energy blasts. Extra Pukin rockets across the ground like a buzzsaw, while Raging Storm is a massive banged geyser that'll devastate anyone nearby. He can imbue these attacks with lightning called down from the heavens, or enhance his strength and speed to perform blindingly fast combos like Deadly Raid and Rashumon. Wait just a goddamn second, Wiz. Did hmm. Geese just throw that poor man straight into the air and then patty cake his nuts on the way back down? Hmm. That is pure evil. Geese's master felt the same way, sensing his pupil's darker intentions. So instead of entrusting the dojo's most secret of scrolls to Geese, he gave them to his other student, Jeff. Goddammit. Jeff. <laughs> as much as Geese does. <laughs> kind of name is Jeff. 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 <laughs> left tongue school to take over South Town's existing criminal empire and install himself as the city's new crime lord. Who, for some reason, demands to dress up in karate gi at all times. Well, hmm. this appreciation for Japanese martial arts extends to the culture as a whole. Music, architecture. He's a weeb, like a buff of ah. Vito Corleone. Who do you think his wife okay. is? Himself? Ooh, I probably would too. Oh. oh I appreciate Geese's tenacity and business acumen. It reminds me of me. Inventing reality bending weaponry for black markets around the globe has done my checking account pretty well. Like my cyber goose. Mega goose Howard? Oh, please, Wiz. I've seen your student loans from mad scientist you. It's a sideways eight next to a smiling turd emoji. I hear they sell self respect next to the dollar pizza place you like so much. Hmm. <laughs> Despite being a badass crime lord, he's still okay. by inadequacy. So he took out his anger on the lamest person he knew, Jeff. Jeff. In front of his kids. I'm sure that'll turn out well in a decade or two. Wow, this guy has got to be the pettiest bitch in all of South Town, next to Jeff. Oh, you mm. think that's bad. How about when Geese had a son and left him and his mother in poverty? And when that son asked for help paying for his mom's illness, Geese ignored it. Wow, without a hint of irony. After successfully conquering mm. South Town, he's hosted the King of Fighters Martial Arts Tournament in order to solidify his position as the strongest <laughs> fighter around. Sorry. What Chief basically was, Geese is powerful enough to obliterate entire swaths of force with his Chi and defeat the hmm. reality warping entity Burst, who could create a hurricane the size of a stadium. Hmm. Even Takuma, one of Geese's subordinates, was strong enough to redirect a blast from the Zero Cannon, a city annihilating satellite laser. Oh, the laser was intended Fun. to eradicate South Town, which is a fictional stand in for real life South Miami. The blast would have to have a yield of around 1.7 megatons. And hmm. judging by how fast it reached the Earth's surface, it must have been moving at over 2% the speed of light. Oh, it was fodder compared to Geese. Seemingly unbeatable, Geese was finally confronted by Terry Bogart, the son of the man he murdered years before. You know, Jeff. Now that Jeff. has great taste in hats. After one of the fiercest mm. battles ever witnessed, Terry defeated Geese and threw him from the top of Geese Tower to his death. Until he came back, so Terry threw him off it again. You can't keep a good goose down. Mm. Whether it be manipulating future events from the shadows or demonstrating his magnificent power in front of the whole world, Geese's tenacity will always strive to crown him the King of Fighters. 
Stay down, maggot. Hmm. All right, the Still rooting for Heihachi, but it looks like um Geese may be just slightly more powerful and slightly faster. But we're we'll, we'll see. Like like yeah um like I said we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll see um if um. Yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't really have anything else I can say, like I said, I have no attachment to either character, I'm just rooting for Heihachi simply because he looks cooler and he reminds me of Otto von Bismarck, and since Geese is Austrian, that would, that, that just makes, that just makes it more hilarious, and if this is, a, if this will go down anything like history, Prussia will once again annihilate Austria. So, <laughs> yeah. And maybe they'll go after whoever's French in King of Fighters next, and, you know, and, and thus they will make the German Empire once more. <laughs> oh, man. It's time for a death battle! I was glad I was able to, like, talk my way through most of that ad. So, yeah, alright. Ah, a volcano. Nice. <laughs> I will stand my hands to serve that old man. Predictable. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Threw him off a cliff into lava. Oh! Ow! Oh man, they're both getting thrown off. Oh! Ouch! Russia wins once again! <laughs> nice. Alright. Both fighters had the brutal tenacity and martial arts mastery to push each other to the limits, but Heihachi just had the greater limits to push. Sorry, Wiz, this one was obvious. One of them threw his people off cliffs, the other had people throw him off cliffs. Mm. No duh. It was not a no duh. In fact, Geese's wider variety 
variety of chi techniques were able to keep Heihachi at a distance, and his ability to draw chi from the earth meant he could spam them for as long as he wanted. But Heihachi has had plenty of experience with projectile spammers like Kazuya, whose hmm. lasers are fast enough to reach outer space in seconds. He'd have no trouble getting in close. Heihachi's decades of combat training overseas also allowed him to learn and adapt to his Aikijutsu. He's even defeated Aikido masters like Dina Williams before, so it hmm. wasn't entirely new to him. Okay, yeah, experience. Stronger, faster, and tougher. Both okay. Characters like Jack and Takuma, who survived satellite lasers nearly equal to each other. But hmm. both feats were performed pretty casually by weaker characters. So okay. What they do at their best. For Geese, let's look at his fight with Burst, who created that hurricane. By measuring hmm. its size compared to the stadium, okay. the mass of the clouds, making a storm that big would take about 1.8 gigatons oh. of TNT. Oh, that, that's more that's more than a megaton, yeah. Could destroy Southtown, but we're not done. One single jack unit was able to destroy a six-mile-wide asteroid heading toward Earth. Estimating its volume and density, the energy it would take to violently fragment it is nearly eight gigatons of TNT. Hmm. Over four times more powerful than Versus Hurricane. And Heihachi can tear through jacks like nothing! Which is crazy, because that satellite laser it reacted to was moving at about 4% the speed of light, twice as fast as the Zero Cannon and hmm. Geese's best. Geese was a clever, ruthless opponent, but Heihachi's power, experience, and sheer bullheaded stubbornness allowed him to walk away the victory. Man, okay. it so intense, it almost made Mishima pants. The winner is okay. Heihachi Mishima. How dumb, but okay. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm glad I was right. <laughs> I don't really care that I was right, but I'm glad I was right. <laughs> All right, what's next? Ah, uh, so it is, that fight. It's really the only fight these two characters have, I guess. Um, yeah, Blake Bel Belladonna versus Mikasa Ackerman. And I wonder if they're going to take the finale into, into um, but pro probably not. Probably not simply because this was probably made well before the finale even came out, which was very recently. But still, um, yeah, Zach's been trying to get me into Attack on Titan, but like, um, like I won't, I won't deny that it's that it's great. It's a great show. Problem is, I've very, I've seen only I've only seen the first season of it and. Yeah, and, and all I've had to do is, like, kind of watch from the sidelines as, like, everyone's saying, oh, Attack on Titan is making history and all, and all this, all, the, all that crap. So, yeah, it's, um, yeah, I don't really, I mean, I'm still rooting for Mikasa simply because I want her to murder Blake, <laughs> aka, you know, the, one of the worst characters in the show, though, I, I would say the worst character, but... There's a lot of competition for that in Ruby. So, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, one, one of them being Ruby herself, not because she's a bad character, but because she ha she has no development at all as a character. And then, then there's Yang, who, God, Yang, um, <laughs> how is it that Weiss is the only good, good one out of the main, out of the main four? Like, <laughs> and even then, it's kind of up in the air. Like, can we just have a show all about the Shanees? Like, is that too much to ask? Like, no, forget all the rest of Ruby. Just a, a show about the Shanee family. That's all I want. <laughs> but, yeah, um... Yeah, so... Yeah, I got nothing real, nothing else to really say. So, yeah, rooting for Mikasa, and... Even though, like... I'm... Like, I know Death Battle's not biased, but... People, no, ma no matter what they've done in the past, people are going to be screaming biased if Blake wins. So, yeah. And who knows what they're going to be doing with her. So, yeah. Um, because, yeah. I'm trying to think of how many fights Blake's actually won without help. And that's the thing. She has had no fights without help. <laughs> um, except... No, no. I was, I was about to say Torchwick, but... No, at the at the end of volume one, yeah, she had help with help with son, and yeah, and Mikasa like, well, I don't think Mikasa's had any fights without help. She constantly outshines literally everyone, <laughs> simply because she's just that good. 
So, yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, I got nothing else to say, so, yeah, that, that that's my prediction for next time, so I'm just gonna end the video here, so yeah, till next time, guys, see ya.